Hi guys, today I'm making a chicken enchilada with verde sauce uh, because I have a bunch of leftover chicken from Costco. I had purchased this uh, maybe a couple days ago, maybe two days ago, and um, I got to decide what to do with it. You don't uh, want to go buy a pre-made uh, rotisserie chicken then you can buy like a couple pieces of chicken breast you can boil it or pan sear it instead um, that's up to you and I had purchased um, some cheese at Stater Bread this morning and it was actually on sale for two dollars and forty nine cents each I had the, um, the cheddar and the Monterey Jack and then everything else to make this um, chicken enchilada was purchased from the 99 cents only store this morning um, that's everything that you see right here and I have the crema mexicana and an onion um, some refried beans and I really liked these also I had made some chicken nachos and I had used um, this brand of refried beans and it was really good so I'm gonna use that and I have here some pickled carrots and here is my sauce, my um, Salsa Mexicana Verde sauce. I got two jars of it. So, okay, I'm going to cheat. So don't be yelling at me through the computer screen, all right? Um, if you want to make your own sauce, that's fine. But um, I'm going to buy it pre-made. And I have some corn tortillas and um, some cilantro and ground pepper and garlic salt. First thing I'm going to do is um, grate the cheese. Both blocks of cheese have been grated like this. And I'm just going to set this aside for right now. Now I'm going to fry the corn tortillas. If you want, you don't have to, but I do like my tortillas cooked. To fry the um, corn tortillas. You don't have to. I know a lot of people don't, but I think one, it tastes better if they're cooked, and two, it's easier to fold them once you put the meat inside. And I have some oil in the pan. It's on medium heat. I'm just waiting for it to get hot. Oil should be hot, so let's go ahead and place a tortilla in there. And you don't want to overcook the tortilla. Um, it's going to get hard. Okay, the tortillas are done, and um, you should be easy, you should easily be able to fold it like this. Can you can see? Um, if you don't fry it, it makes it hard to fold, and then it'll start cracking and stuff like that. So definitely, I would I would highly suggest frying them. I'm gonna warm up my chicken. Now you can completely skip this step if you want. Um, just take the rotisserie chicken and shred it, and then put it directly into t your tortilla if that's what you want to do. But I'm going to add um, a little bit of minced garlic, and I had some leftover um, red onions from making my pico de gallo, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that, and um, of the shredded cheese, and a little bit of cilantro. Just a little bit of oil on the bottom of my pot. Wait for it to get hot before I add the garlic and the red onions. You can replace this with um, shallots or. Uh, a yellow onion is fine. I'm just using what I have. <laughs> Heat is on medium high and it should be the oil should be hot. So let me get add the garlic. And I'm gonna add the onion. Ooh, that's a lot. I forgot I didn't want to add that much. <laughs> let me take some of it out. <laughs> okay, it's not good enough. I'm going to saute it for a little bit here until it's fragrant. And remember, 
remember the chicken's already cooked, so I'm just warming it up. We don't need to cook the chicken as well, but um, so don't cook the chicken for too long. All right, so let's go ahead and add the chicken. So just mix everything well. And now I'm going to add some of the garlic salt. And some black pepper. Mix it. Okay, do a taste test. I think it needs a little bit more garlic salt. Alright, that should be good enough. I'm actually going to add a little bit more black pepper. Alright. So my chicken should be heated through now. And I'm going to add some cheese. At this point, I'm going to turn off the heat. Mix in some of the cheese here. And you can add as much as you want. Alright. And I'm just going to stir it all up. Mix it all up. You can see the, the gooeyness. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more. So the heat has already been turned off, just to remind you, and I'm just adding more cheese. Look at that ooey, goo oh my god, look at that cheese, you see how it's melting, mm, yum. Alright. And then we try it, mmm, ooh, let me try it, mmm, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of the salsa Mexican verde. Yum. If you happen to skip this step, like I said, if you just shred the chicken and go directly to the tortilla, then that's where you would add your cheese and everything else. The cheese, the um, salsa verde, just mix everything in before you add it into your tortilla. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add some cilantro. I have a little bit of cilantro right here. Okay. Alright, so it's going to go into the tortilla. In the, um, the shredded chicken out of the pot. It hasn't even gotten into the tortillas yet. And it looks so delicious. And it is delicious. I've tried it. I'll do another one. <laughs> Yum, yum. I'm going to pour the um, salsa verde into like a dish and um, dip the tortillas in here before I roll them. Um, if you want, you don't have to do this. You can, instead of dipping the tortillas in here, you can um, just spread a little bit, some of the um, salsa verde on the bottom of your pan and then roll your tortillas, put them in, and then pour some of the um, salsa verde on top. So you can do this either way. Also pour a little bit of the salsa verde on the bottom of the pan. And then spread it out. I'm going to make a bed for the tortillas. 
They're going to lay right on top of it. Okay, let's start rolling. Place a tortilla on here, and then I just simply um, took one or two spoonfuls of the chicken filling and placed it on top of the tortilla. And now we're just going to roll it. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Let's see here. Like that. And then we're going to place it seam down so it doesn't come apart. Right there, there's the seam. And we'll bring it over here. And we'll just place it right on top of the sauce. Like that. So let me do some more. Okay, and you see how easily it folds? Okay, so there we go. Let's get some more of the chicken filling. in here and just continue doing that all right so let's get another spoonful or two of the chicken filling oh and if you wanted you can add more cheese too um right in here if but i think that's enough <laughs> at least for me because we'll be putting some more cheese on top I just got these done. Last roll I had cut in half just to fill up this empty space right here in the corner. And this is what it looks like so far. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour the more of the Saucy Verde top. Oh my gosh. And you know what? There, If you don't want to pour the sauce on top, they can be eaten um, just like that alone. It's really good because the tortillas are cooked. The chicken is already cooked. So even... So this step is really not even necessary. You don't need to bake it. Just go ahead and start eating it. It's so delicious. All right. So this is done, and I still have some sauce left over here. If I need more, just kind of spread it on out. So everything is covered. Looks like I need a little bit more, so I'm going to grab some from the side. So now we can put more cheese on, or I can say we can put more calories on here. <laughs> here we go. Let's spread some of this out. And I would definitely recommend grating your own cheese. You know my other videos, I talked about um, buying pre-shredded and how it doesn't melt very well. That's why you see in a lot of the videos, um, the cheese is not completely melted and that's the reason. So from this day on, I vowed that I would grate my own cheese. It costs a little bit more, not but not that much. Because if you buy, if I buy the pre-shredded cheese at the 99 cent store, it's only you know 99 cents. But if I go buy the the small block of cheese, like I did at Stater Brothers, it's um, it's only it was on sale for two dollars and forty nine cents. So it's only a dollar forty nine cents more. So add as much cheese as you like. two um, of these dishes because one's going to be for the adults for my husband and I and the other one's going to be for the kids because um, I'm not going to put this the sauce on it's going to be um, too spicy for them all right there we go this one's done so let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 375 degrees oh and I almost forgot I'm also going to add some onions on top because I love onions um, this is optional of course you don't need to do this if you want you certainly can okay and because I've, I've added the onions I'm just gonna put on a little bit more cheese just a little just a slightly cover it okay there we go it is now finally ready to go into the oven the oven should be preheated at 375 degrees so let's go ahead and put this in there 
I'll just put it right in the center. I don't know if you can see because of that. There we go. Close it up. And we're just going to bake it and until the cheese is melted. So here is the plate for my kids. And uh, I did not put any salsa verde on it for them. There's no salsa verde. I had sprayed some Pam olive oil uh, on the bottom. So And now I'm just going to... I'm out of chicken. <laughs> so this is all I can make. Which is perfect. I'll go ahead and add the rest of the cheese right on top for them. And I'm running out of cheese too, so <laughs> this is perfect. The oven it goes with the other one. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Oh, you can see the other one's starting to melt already. Look at that. And it's only been like, I don't know, a few minutes. Go ahead and close this on it. My enchiladas are cooking in the oven. Um, I'm just getting my side dishes ready. And this is my pico de gallo. Um, if you want the recipe for this, just go to my beef taco video. And in that video, I show you how to make this. Now I'm going to open these cans, pour, pour them into a bowl, and then heat them in the oven. And this one here, I'm just going to, um, to open it. <laughs> So, um, here are all my sides, and everything that you see, again, was purchased at the 99 cents only store for only 99 cents. Um, I have here um, an iceberg lettuce, which I had just shredded, and then placed some of my pico de gallo on top. And I actually bought this bag here, tortilla strips, at the 99 cents only store a couple weeks ago, and I don't think they have it anymore, but you can probably get it at like a regular grocery store. So I'm just going to top my salad with some of the strips here. Okay, so that's going to be our side salad. And then, of course, the um, Crema Mexicana that I got at the 99 cent store. Or you can just use regular sour cream. It's just pretty much the same. And then our refried beans, which is pretty good. And our pickled carrots and jalapenos. And of course, if you don't want to eat the pickled ones, you can eat the like the fresh jalapeno jalapenos. Our pico de gallo. And I have ex some extra sauce here that did not go on top of the um, the enchiladas. So I'm going to put it in a small bowl. And if anyone wants to dip their, you know, <laughs> enchiladas into it, they can. First dish has been cooking for 25 minutes now. So let's go ahead and check on it. This is what it's looking like. Can you see it? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Turn the heat up a little bit to maybe 400 for the next couple of minutes. Okay. I just turned off the oven. At five minutes. You just want to turn it up to, um, to 400 degrees. And this is what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, it's still bubbling. Look. Mmm. Yum, yum. Here's the second one. This, is, this one's for the kids. Right there. Can you hear that? Oh, let me bring it over to you where you can see it. There you go. Can you see it now? You see it still bubbling? Oh my goodness. Oh, so good. Look at it. Delicious. Super, super delicious. Just in time, too. <laughs> As normal. Just in time to go pick up the kids. Unfortunately, I can't um, enjoy this right now. I have to go pick up the kids, and we'll be oh, and then we'll be back to eat this. Show you. Let me show you the kids. Let me bring it over to the table. There we go. So there's the two. There we go. Yummy, right? Oh wow! Look at that. So easy to do. Okay. I'll put it back over there. With also when my husband comes home, home from work, everything is set for him. He'll make it easy for him to um, to make his own enchilada plate because he'll be home before I come home with the kids. There you go. We have some enchilada, and then on the side, just put some salad and the refried beans. The sour cream and then maybe put some um you know pickled hal pickled jalapeno carrots and all that on top and enjoy uh i'll see you guys when i get back 
Here's a, these are like, oh my gosh, I wish I could eat it right now, but I can't, I gotta let go. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is my plate. I just returned from home, and this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, you definitely have to try this recipe out. Let me show you what it's like on the inside. Can you see that? Wow, delicious. Um, this is one recipe that you will absolutely love. Mm -mm, good. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to check out all my other videos. Um, I try to get new videos out every week. Here we go. Thanks so much. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.